So Dickers. So I don't know anything about Dickers, but he is a like a like a pet of like PPP. PPP hates this fucking guy. Um, I have no idea why. And um, <laughs> I think that the reason why is that he is he's like unhumble. He has um, never in his life uh, been brought so low that he can't recover from it. And his obsession is with DSP. So he has like he has like a huge, from what I understand, he has a huge hate boner of DSP. Even though they're both like fat losers. Um, he insists that he's better than DSP. That's what I, that's all I know. Um, apparently his big drama that happened recently was that PPP said something, made like a joke. Either PPP or Andy Worski made like a joke about how uh, his, his Dicker's ex-wife, he had like pictures of his ex-wife's daughter or something on his Google Drive. And uh, for some reason, he went out and just acknowledged this. He said, yes, I've been hacked. Somehow, Andy Worski has hacked my computer, hacked my Google Drive, and found the pictures of my ex-wife's teen daughter in a bikini on my Google Drive. This is a serious crime. This is a, a, a felony hacking offense. Um, this, is, this is a tragedy. And he, he didn't have any reason to confirm this, but it instantly made him look extremely creepy to do so. And then I think the other thing that happened is that he then changed his story and he came up with this convoluted cockamamie defense about how he has like a, like a separate phone for two-factor authentication and what happened is, is that when Andy Worski hacked him, his separate phone um, was on a nightstand. I guess it buzzed. And it was like, do you want to let Andy Worski see the pictures of your ex-wife's teen daughter? Um, and it, because it buzzed when it did this, it fell off and landed into a shopping bag. And this, I think, I mean, based off what PPP and Andy Worski say, this could be complete bullshit. I'm willing to accept that, <laughs> this entire story. But allegedly, what Dicker said after that was that because the phone landed in the shopping bag, uh, it accidentally pressed the button to allow Andy Worski to access his Google Drive. But this was also like another tacit admission that he has like a secret secondary phone specifically for this Google Drive to like that only he uses to, that, that also stores his teen daughters or teen um, the bikini pictures of his, of his ex-wife's daughter on it. Uh, it's a very weird progression of events. Um, and it has brought more attention onto Review Tech, who apparently repeatedly threatens to stop streaming like every week. Like the, his streams are mostly just retirement announcements, and then he just makes another one, and he just ke keeps doing this and has been doing this for years. Um, but he's been melting down. So we have a couple lineup uh, posts of Dickers. Uh, these are him being tough on post or on uh, on uh, Twitter him acting like a tough guy. Uh, and then he has a feud with his editor on why somebody with as little content as him needs an editor. I don't fucking know, but let's check it out. Hi, Eric. I know you're a fucking idiot, so I'm going to explain this to you really slowly. Listen. Asking for information is public things. Videos Things that are on Kiwi Farms, stupid shit that you've done. <laughs> yes, I want your blood type, Eric. That's what I want. Or I want to find that you have a stupid fucking book, which someone told me. <laughs> about your wrestling career. That's like me saying I have a music career. Cry more. Hi, everybody. 
Richard Review Tech USA here. And I see many people are concerned about my mental health, my well being, and want to see if I'm okay. Okay, chat, this is what happens when you cry wolf. I said that he is laying down for this, obviously. I said it's very remarkable that he is trying to be an internet tough guy, but he is literally laying down to do so. It's a, it's a bit much. And then I pointed out that he stood up for this one, so now you know shit's serious. He took the gloves off. Hi, everybody. Richard Review Tech USA here. And I see many people are concerned about my mental health, my well-being, and want to see if I'm okay. I am okay. I just had a lot to say today that I've held back for about two months. I also see people saying they're concerned and that I'm a drug addict. I think the concern is feigned, so this is for them. He's toking. And this guy's a regular Ralph Amell. Suck my fucking dick. Damn, this guy's tough. Someone in chat said the foodie beauty angle. I was going to make that reference, but I didn't want to bring up foodie beauty on my own. Yeah, this is what she does. She would make all these videos ranting about haters, just like laying on a fucking pillow. Um, but Rich has mastered this. Uh, he has mastered the uh, the the pillow angle. Oh, no. no we're back on the no. pillow. He got tired. After that big toke, he's like, ah, fuck. I gotta lay down. You leaked a Discord message. That was obviously going to get leaked anyway. Yeah, it's a new era of Review Tech USA. Where there's no reviewing tech. And it's mostly internet blood sports. And people like you are in my sights. Good luck with that one. I'm not Phil. Mm, that's true. Phil can stand up. Phil can sit on a couch when he does his videos. This guy's too fat and retarded. Can you can you just fight Andy Worski? That'd be a pretty good toss up. Who would win, Andy Worski or this guy? Like fighting? This guy. I mean, this guy's pretty big, but Andy Worski isn't like a crippled old man. <laughs> it's a pretty. It's pretty fair. Whoever has stuff on any of these assholes, if you don't mind, no one is required to do anything. It'll just be appreciated. By all means, post it here. You could DM it to me if you're not comfortable. I understand that as well. Um, I'm not holding back anymore. The ship is sinking, and man, I'm going to stir up everything while it's sinking. That's an interesting. I guess he's hurting for money or something. Oh, someone, would you mind? I mean, that's me being a fat, lazy fuck. I could do it myself. Go to Kiwi Farms. If someone could send me a link to that, that would be fantastic. KiwiFarms.st There you go, buddy. I am going to make on YouTube, not outside of YouTube. I just need to keep saying that because everyone on Twitter thinks I'm going to go bridge diving tonight. I am going to make his life on YouTube a living hell just by watching him and roasting the shit out of him. I refrained from doing it because I didn't want what happened on Twitter today to happen. A little late for that now, though. Hi, Eric. You're going to wish that you never, ever did what you did. All the fucking... All, me holding back and trying to have rapport is now out the window. He should just join the forum. Is he too fat to do that? How do I email this guy? Hold up. Google.com. Utech USA YouTube. Okay. Two more links. I need an email address. Sign in to see his email address. Can someone sign in to... Look, I'm going to post this in the kit. No, I'll post this in the Rumble chat. Sign into this and tell me what email address is in the, the about us. Like, just copy it and paste it into the chat. Just do it real quick. I'll send them an email.
He's too much of a tough guy to join the fort. No, 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 no. He'll feel better once I personally invite him. Let me open up my uh, email real quick. I have to type this. Gayfatretard.gmail. Okay. Two. Should have known that my chat is completely fucking useless. RTU Advertising YT. Okay. New Tech U. Adver. I zing. Make you check this dot com. This is a really weird email address. Gmail. What should I say? I'm typing this on my phone so it can't be long winded. I don't know how to type on my phone keyboard. Uh, subject: Join the Kiwi Farms Rich. I am the owner. You are personally invited. Okay, that's that's pretty succinct. That's pretty good. All right, hopefully he'll join. Let me know if he does. <laughs> uh, next, there's more to this. Uh, so this is Jay who I believe is the guy that he's threatening in the other messages. Um, and he leaks the vo voice message where Rich is thinking about life ruination, which I assume means ruining the life of the guy. <laughs> How do you have these many skeletons and with Jay screw up this badly and think this is going to end well for you? You know, I, I, I mean, look, I, like I said in the other, I could, you know, Jay could, light my house on fire and people be like well you fired him but after like the hate wave subsides which generally it always does you're gonna look real fucking bad that's another thing i could send to his employers now and a uh, random concerned consumer of a film company that he may work for um they may want to see that Remember how I said, like, when it comes to a pedophile, you can be, like, as much of a sociopath as you want, and, like, nobody's going to give you shit for it? When, um, there are exceptions. People can be assholes, like, on their own. But when you, like, go out and you say, like, yeah, I'm going to ruin this guy's life, I'm going to go after his job, I'm going to send emails to his employers, I'm going to try to fuck with him, um, I'm going to cross every line that I can. You're basically, like, inviting the devil. You're, like, saying, okay, well, I'm setting the rules of engagement. And the rules of engagement are that I will do literally anything that I want, and I will go after your supply lines, and I will uh, uh, fuck with random innocent people to try and get at you. Like, when you set that as the rules of engagement, uh, it gets pretty nasty pretty fast. Because there are people who uh, who are psychopaths, who are, like, dangerous people. And they enjoy your hurting people, um, but they don't want to. They don't want to like. They, they're pragmatic enough to know that just doing that to random people is um, bad, in the sense that they could get caught doing it, and it would make them look really bad, or it's just not fun if there's not like a game to it. Um, who will accept this kind of invitation to be like really, really a big assholes to you? But you have to, like, open the door. It's kind of like a vampire. Yeah. Uh, let me just read this. Hey, let your audience talk about whatever they want. Also, Rich, my editor is not allowed to talk about... No, he's not allowed to ask for crowdfunding on my fucking stream. Is this what this is over? So his editor put in like, hey, I don't really get paid by this fat retard. If you want to like support me, you can support me this through this link. And then he's like, wait a second. You don't get to make money off of my videos. I, I need more weed money. So if you're going to put your ads on my videos, I'm going to like fucking ruin your life, bro. Is that what this entire thing is over? Fucking Coco. No, I'm not even gonna. No, Jeremy. Everyone has to call him Jeremy. I won't give it. I mean, his name, his last name is public, but I won't say it. 
No, I'm talking about Jeremy, a uh, former fan. He's, uh, Chad is backing me up on this. This is like the most petty grievance that you could possibly have. Like, if someone is editing your videos for free and asks for, like, a, I assume for free is like a fan, because he's saying he's not my editor. I didn't employ him. So I'm assuming that he's not getting paid. It was supposed to be like fan work. And he's like, well, you know, if I'm going to do this for free, I might as well ask for a little bit of money. Um, I assume he didn't make a single dollar off of this because who the fuck would pay a video editor of a channel you don't even like because he has no fans. Um, and now he's just going to completely burn his bridge and completely tank any opportunity he has to get more fan work for free. You know what I mean? It's a really, 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 really bad idea to go scorch earth on your own fans, buddy. I hate using that word of mine. That's my fucking character. I got the videos to prove it. Hate being that way. Get fucking rid of them, you weird dork. For your content, not all of it. We'll dedicate like 10 to 15 minutes to you. Also, uh, Jeremy forgot to say this. Get rid of fucking sexy Coco. You took my idea and ran with it. You don't even really like me anymore. I am going to call you out on every single stream until you get rid of sexy Coco, you fucking cuck weirdo. I'm going after everybody today. You ain't safe for me. Get rid of sexy Coco. You don't like me anymore. Get fucking rid of him, Jerry. Well, actually, no, that's not true. I'm thankful. No, I would never want him to get a uh, bag of Coke with laced with fentanyl. I would never want that to happen. Right? No, no. How did he? De how did he demolish me by telling lies that aren't true? How was I demolished? I would like to know. He could come on here and and tell me. I don't care. I hope he. I, I mean, it would be a gosh darn shame. I mean, the guy who made who made fun of my daughter to the point that his fat doughy fuck co-host winced. Nah. I truly do hope I would never want to see him overdose with foam coming out of his mouth and slowly die and suffer. I would never want to see that. Dude, this guy has potential. How many posts? How many threads? Only 48? This guy has the, the makings. This guy has all the right. He has, like, the, the wings of redemption, like, internet tough guy. He's fat. Like, being fat is, like, an automatic, like, 10 points to being a lol cow. Like, people just hate fat people. Um, the internet tough guy thing, like, the, like, the, like, just, like, fantasizing about people dying and shit is, like, impotent and, and cringe and gay and pathetic. That's also, like, a huge lol cow trait. Like, Chris would do that, too. Christian would, would say, I just like, I would wanna, I want to tear that Clyde Cash. Like, the, that... Cause that's like when you're sitting there thinking like, God, I wish I could just see him fucking choke to death. I wish I could see the light leave his eyes. Like that's the ultimate expression of impotence. Cause you're basically like, if you, if you really hate him that much to the point where you're like fantasizing about him dying, but you're not going to do anything about it. Like you're not going to go kill him. Then that means that you're like super emotionally invested into this, but you're also so impotent that you just can't like man up and kill him. <laughs> so it's like a really pathetic thing. I don't have to explain it, but I, I wanted to elaborate. Um, yeah, this guy has some has some has potential. I, I, but how did he like? How did he stay under the radar for so long? Was he like a real channel at some point, and he's just like lost the plot after his second divorce? Like, what the fuck's happened? Um, he's a flagging. Oh, there we go. He was boring, flagging and doxing his credits. Jay Tard wrangled him. He's just pouring. He's always had low views. He's stayed on the radar because he's always been boring as fuck. Well, now's the time, bro. You're late into your life. You ain't got shit. Your fucking wife left you. I don't know if you have any kids. I hope not, but if you have any stepkids, they probably don't want anything to do with you. Now is the time, man. You've had this, you've had this underlying current of being like a huge mega retard. It's time to unleash that. It's time to harness being a fucking mega retard and show the world what you really got deep down inside as a mega retard. 
I'm rooting for this guy. I think he can do it. He's an underdog. He's an underdog, but we're kind of in like a lull right now. Um, people are willing to give others a shot. You know what I mean? This guy, I think he can do it. I think if he goes in there and he plays his cards wrong and he fucks up everything and he acts like a huge retard, I think he's got what it takes to get featured this week even. He just has to, has to pull a stunt that it can be easily understood by someone who's never heard of him before. I am not that kind of man. I wouldn't laugh and sit there and eat popcorn as he was choking on his own bodily fluids. That would never be something I would do. I'm a better person than that. Cry because I'm calling her a cunt. Also said because you want to know what happened to my daughter? Because she was on an antibiotic for her ear, she had a reaction to it. And she said, look, it because Rich took his medical advice and he regretted it. I don't care you're a female. Don't ever let me see you. You have nothing to worry about, but don't ever really see you face to face. So his vax made his do he so is this his biological nice and safe. daughter? We'll never meet. It'll stay that way too, thankfully. So he vax max his daughter with the COVID jab, and then she went blind, and then someone made fun of him for doing that. Really? He's a whammon hater. His biological daughter went b bad with one of Van Benson. And he still trusts the science. Safe and effective. That's pretty, that's pretty grim. I would never... Going blind is such a curse, you know? I enjoy using my eyeballs quite a bit. Um, that's pretty, that's pretty gnarly. A little bad for her. There's more videos. I'm enjoying this guy's content. This is good stuff. Look how fat he's, he's so fat and hateable, too. He's, like, bald, low T, fucking... There's something about the fact that, like, his mustache still has color to it, but his beard doesn't, that gives him this look where it's like he put his face up against a bear's asshole, and now he's got, like, shitty bear fur, like, stuck to his upper lip after, like, giving it a rim job or something. He just looks so gross and, and detestable. Trent job. donated $2. How does it feel knowing that the six-figure income from YouTube is never coming back? How does it feel knowing that your antics online are going to be used to bully your kids in school? How does it feel knowing that all your fans hate your guts now? Ah, well, since none of that's true, I think it's all great. What a code. This guy's pretending that he's gonna make six <laughs> figures a a year off his YouTube shit, or does he? Is he implying that he still does? Like he's had a he has a big YouTube channel. Someone said that his channel is bigger than Jim Sterling, who has a pretty big YouTube channel. Um, so how did he decline? Like, what did he start doing that pissed off his core audience? And because I'm curious, because like with Jim Sterling, you see his decline. You know, that's because he trooned out. He became super political. He stopped caring about video games, but still has to put on like a facade about caring about video games. Started injecting all this like wrestling bullshit into his fucking videos. That's just garbage. It's painful to watch. What did this guy do? Stopped reviewing tech and acting like a retard. Okay, well, if he stopped reviewing tech, that would make sense. He started getting high and eating edibles. He stopped doing the news and started streaming. Mm. In stage YouTube career when you start streaming. A weed addict, boring streams, stop posting daily clickbait content. He just gets stoned as fuck and rambles now. He just stopped making videos. Mm, that's what happened with Boogie. He just stopped making videos. Can't do that shit forever, I guess. Unless you really do treat it as a job. You know, it's an awful shame that Andy Worski is now sober. Well, actually, no, that's not true. I'm thankful. No, I would never want him to get a uh, bag of Coke with laced with fentanyl. I, we watched this already, but it's like, <laughs> this guy knows how to not get banned on Twitter. I'm so, I just I have, to, I have to poach everything like that. I sure hope no boomers die. I sure hope nobody died on the beaches of Normandy in vain. Man, I really enjoy uh, this person being alive. I hope nothing bad ever happens to them. I can just get around it that way. This guy's a master. I understand now. Rich says he got $400 tonight. 
So he got the money he wanted. I'm not, I'm not going to say how much money has come in tonight. I don't even know the actual amount. Uh, yeah, dude, you got it today because of what happened on Twitter. Wow. Like, okay, Jay. Let's just like, I don't like it. And again, it is not fucking jealousy, but even people who don't like me know that. I know there's no way every stream is like this because all, all 180 people watching and will be bankrupt. Just say, uh, <laughs> I got more than $400 tonight. I got more than $1,000 tonight. I got more than $1,500 tonight. That's where I'll... Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, that happened because you got penny bucks. Well done. He's reading his chat. Wait, yeah, Gundam was looking for... The weird cut. I was hoping there would be like a, a thought capped off on that. And somebody needs to go and take his keyboard away. Maybe his father could do it. Or maybe his daughter that he should be taking care of should... All of these people, if I have to, if I had to pretend to apologize to these people, I'd rather work at Walmart again. Eric, you're another one. I'll watch my words. Don't see me anywhere. <laughs> it goes from jokes and roasting to you saying that I should be taking care of my sick kid who's taken care of. Me and the mother live in two separate houses. Keep my fucking kid's name out of your mouth. Because then you'll have to worry. And I don't think anyone here will hold that against me. What's this Got kid's the name? the fuck up about my kid. What's this kid's name? This guy is so hard. This guy is acting so hard for a man that's so jiggly. He could, like, bounce him up and down. He would wiggle and wiggle for hours. Yeah, keep my wife's name out of your mouth. Blonde Arena. <laughs> I don't think that's actually her name. <laughs> His tits are huge. His tits hang massive in the way that you would think God's as big. Muba Dickers Jr. A tough puddin'. <laughs> Listen here, dickers. We're going to talk about Blind Arena all we want to. Blinderella. Don't try to stop us. You should be taking care of Blinderella. At this point, I'm going to burn everything to the ground to make money in the process. Prepare for my internet, lowercase i, internet demise to come in a spectacular fashion. I'm fucked anyway. Might as well make it profitable. The gee golly things are going great facade is getting old. It's uh my name. It sounds a lot like the uh the the God, what was the name of that fucking video game that pissed everybody off? My name is not important. What's important is what I'm going to do. I just fucking hate these a long. Dude, you can see his nipples. You can see his nipples. Like, look, you can, you can see his big nipple right there. They're so big. He's got like proper, like, like massive, like titties. And he's like, it, he's got like milk coming out. It's like wet where his nipples are. That's really fucking gross, chat. That's pretty gnarly. I didn't want to see that, but I just saw that and it disgusts me. Uh, awesome. Okay, so Andy Worski apparently dropped a bombshell uh, that the uh, originally Review Tech USA bought a computer and he was going to send it to Darkside Phil. Um, Review Tech USA decided that he was going to uh, troll Darkside Phil by installing key loggers and, and backdoors and rats uh, onto his computer. Said that once he started using it, Review Tech would be able to snoop through his files and become the ultimate uh, DSP A log. 
Um, however, that did not happen. So instead of sending it to uh, DSP, he sent it instead to his editor, Jay. So what he is indicating is that he has had access to Jay's computer without his knowledge uh, for some time and has been able to rummage through it and find access to his, uh, um, to his porn folders and stuff like that. Uh, is that illegal? Yes, it is. It is a violation of the Computer Fraud and Abuses Act of 1983, I want to say. Um, the computer, the, the hacking bill that the U.S. had, which is called the, the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act or whatever, the CFAA, I'm pretty sure is what it's called, um, is very broad. From what I understand, what I remember, any kind of unauthorized access to any computer is technically hacking. So it's not like you have to circumvent any kind of security measure. It's kind of like trespass, where even if the door is unlocked and you just let yourself in, um, that is a form of uh, trespass, breaking and entering even. Um, so, yeah, giving a guy a computer without with a, a rat on it and accessing it without his knowledge or permission, that's hacking in the same way that breaking into um, uh, a, you know Amazon computers and leaking stuff is, is a hacking. It's the same thing. So uh, Jay has actually been compromised like that. And if Review Tech is threatening to extort him, uh, those are both like interstate felonies. I think that um, the complication here is that Review Tech is Canadian, I believe, and Jay is American. Um, but I am I would almost guarantee that the Canadians have similar anti-hacking laws. There's no way they don't, and there's no way that like it's just. The way that installing a remote control access device on a computer and accessing a person's computer as like a Trojan horse um, without their permission is blatantly unethical and almost certainly illegal in the matter of the jurisdiction. So, oh, other way around. So Review Tech is Canadian or uh, is American and Jay is Canadian. Well, then he's, even though Jay is Canadian, he can still file a police report. Um, if, he, if this guy actually has broken into his computer, he should. I think the way that it usually works is that um, he would have to. Cause I've dealt with this before when I was dealing with um, foreigners going after my family and stuff. Uh, you should both contact your local law enforcement and also the. Uh, and then get like a case number or like a report or an incident report number. And then also submit that to. The FBI, or I think the FBI would be the appropriate um, person for this. And then submit your, like your local police report and say, like, this American has uh, backdoored me, is extorting me, I'm a victim, so on and so forth. And they might actually take it up, because why not? Chances of that are low, because the federal government is useless and doesn't really do anything that doesn't benefit it politically. But sometimes it does do stuff. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!